As you can tell from the landscape, Sao Miguel is a volcanic island. The Azores Islands are located close to the meeting of three tectonic plates. The African, Eurasian, and North American plates meet in this part of the Atlantic Ocean, which means there are many faults and lots of historic volcanic activity. And these conditions are favorable for hot springs. On the island of Sao Miguel, where I am, there are five hot springs. I have a handful of days to see the island, so I will try to visit them all. That right there is about 60 to 100 degrees Celsius. Dripping out of the fumarole pool and uh, it's just bubbling away like a pot of piping hot stew on the stove. You wouldn't be able to put your whole body in that. The pools are spread out. There's the interpretive center and there's a lower pool, middle pool down by the interpretive center. And then you walk up the path a bit and you get to the upper pool which has the waterfall falling into it. Just an extremely beautiful setting. These beautiful ferns and palms and basically the whole walls of this little canyon are just covered in vegetation. And the pool is the largest. It kind of has a flat bottom for most of it and you can wade through that, it's about waist deep. But it's lukewarm at best, it's really not too hot at all. It, um, I've been in many hot springs that are hotter. The lower two pools are hotter, but in terms of a just a gorgeous, tranquil, scenic location, it's just an incredible here. It's very busy during peak hours. You probably need reservations because it sells out and they sell each time slot for an hour and a half. It cost me 10 euros uh, to do the the hot springs pools and the interpretive center and there's a ticket for just the interpretive center without the hot spring pools for three euros 10 euros being 15 canadian is you know one of the most expensive prices i've paid to visit hot springs but it was worth it because this place is so beautiful caldera velha translates as the old boiler and it was classified as a protected natural park in 2008 just down the road below Caldera Valha is a geothermal generating plant called Central Geothermica do Pico Vermeljo. It was built in 2007 by Israeli renewable energy company Ormat at a cost of 34.4 million euros, 28% of which was financed by Azores Economic and Social Development Program. It has a capacity steam flow of around 56 tons per hour and an annual production of 80 gigawatt hours. In 2007, the total contribution of geothermal energy to Sao Miguel's power grid was 37%. Hot steam, I can feel it. It's just warm standing here beside the road. You know it's a volcanic island when there's literally vents right beside the road puffing steam. Essentially, this plant is turning steam into electricity. I am at Termes das Caldeiras, which is a spa and hot spring. Behind me you can see that Gatorade color of blue, which is a really beautiful color. It's just bubbling up and steaming and it's right in the center of this little, tiny little uh, hamlet almost. It's uh, very quaint and it's beautiful surroundings, old stone buildings, cobblestone. The road was mostly cobblestone all the way here. So let's see if they have room and if I can uh, try out Termes das Caldeiras. So this one is way warmer than Caldeira Velha, which was just warmish, but this one's actually hot. And the color is very cool. This grayish blue, I had to uh, wait half an hour to get in, but it's worth it. It's a uh, much smaller, atmosphere here, less people, less tourists, and it cost uh, six euro for an hour and a half. 
Okay, so that's two of five hot springs in the Azores. Two hot spring soaks in one day. It was just beautiful. The water was nice and hot. The people were friendly. And I gotta go though, because it's getting dark. It's just after sunset, and I gotta go across the island by scooter. And uh, that's harder in the dark when I don't know where I'm going. And it's about 40, 45 minutes. Loving the Azores so far. One of the best pools at Poca de Donna Beja has a thin curtain waterfall that you can sit behind, in a space that feels like a sauna. The steam and humidity trapped in this space raises the temperature very high and warms you through to your bones. The bright vibrant orange color comes from the high mineral and iron content of the water, which is said to be exfoliating and good for your skin. Average temperature of the pools is 39 degrees Celsius. Welcome to Furnace. I'm here at Furnace, and behind me are the Calderas das Furnace, the fumaroles, the boiling cauldrons bubbling away. You can smell the sulfur in the air, and just look at them gassing up. Look at all that steam. There's a, a number of them steaming away. The creek is flowing down below. And this is one of the most popular tourist spots on Sao Miguel. It's a really beautiful, lush area. The ground is uh, stained here yellow and, and white, sulfur colored. Really cool to see up close these bubbling fumaroles. The water is a turmoil. Just ferociously bubbling away. In Furnace, there is also a second hot spring location at Park Terra Nostra, which has a large and beautiful botanical garden and a thermal pool dating back to 1780. But I ran out of time to visit this one. We'll have to experience it next time I'm on the island. The last stop is Ponta de Fraria, on the westernmost point of the island. These are underwater hydrothermal vents right on the ocean, creating a hot spring cove out of the black volcanic rocks. And they are the only hot springs that are free. So naturally, they were very busy when I visited them. It was like if a Where's Waldo comic met a hot spring. The temperature varied from scalding next to the shore, probably 50 degrees Celsius, to a pleasant hot in the middle, and further out at the mouth of the cove, cool ocean water mixing with the warm. The sun setting into the western horizon and the golden glow really added to the beauty of this place. Uh, 
So this is an amazing experience. One of the most unique hot springs I've ever been in to be soaking in the ocean while the tides, while the waves roll in as this steaming hot water comes up from the lava rocks and mixes with the two so you get a wave of cool come in and then as the wave goes back out just this surge of heat it's an incredible experience the water is so clear it's super beautiful